program started with a little small blue bucket under our desks. We had to put this blue bucket under there and they said, any kind of paper that you have, just throw it in there. This is part of our new Go Green program. I kept saying to myself, what? I don't get it. I don't understand it. So we had some people come in, uh, the Sexton Group, explain to us there are our consultants uh, for our program and show us that what this can be, it doesn't have to be green or profitable. It can be both. You're buying these cans and bottles and then people are throwing them away. <clears throat> and then, you know, you start to ask yourself, what are we capturing? How much are we capturing of it, are, of what we purchased? How much are we getting back? Or is it ending up in the landfill? How do we capture more? What we did was we put a can and then we put this very large looking bottle that said, put your recyclables in here, everything else goes in here. All of a sudden, recycling numbers go way up. And as we started to implement our program and composting and all that started kicking in, this is last year's number, 72%. I'm proud to say, beginning February of this year that we just finished, we're at 99% diversion rate. We don't send really anything to the landfill. So the stadium will, uh, under the new power plant, be able to produce all the energy it needs on a non-game day. On a game day, depending on what season it is, any overages, we'll just purchase through either wind or solar uh, clean, clean uh, technologies. And we, we use things as, as intricate technologically advanced as a lighting system and a building automation system, and as basic as strapping a clipboard to an intern and making sure that the over 1,000 TVs are turned off after the game. You know, you in your homes have kids, right? Shut off the TV, turn off the light. Now what do you do in your house? Two, between two and 6,000 square feet? We're two million square feet. And I have 60,000 kids come on Sunday, right? And they don't always turn the lights off or turn the TVs off. And again, we're celebrating. We're taking the time with incentive programs to take the time to say thank you. It is easy to do when you're not paying the bill to leave the light on. But when you really put some meat behind it, a plan behind it, show appreciation, whether it be through words or actions, we think it really works well. Motivation and momentum, in my opinion, are the two fuels that keep this thing running. And here's what would happen. People get motivated. All right, no, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then all of a sudden you see this motivation. Hey, I know we can get more. I know we can get more recycling. We're there to make a profit. Uh, but we're also trying to be uh, good corporate citizens. So back in the day, it used to be, do you want to be green or profitable? And now today, in my opinion, I think the green movement has really caught some traction because capitalism and green have come together. And now you can be green and profitable.